Canon had just released the Canon Log for their 5D Mark IV. So we were able to get a cinematic look out of a DSLR, which up until you know that year, I don't think it was really possible. But we got a look that looks like a C300 but you know, with a much smaller rig, something that we could move and use it gorilla style. Mike actually has the whole movie in his head pretty much. Uh, so it's kind of really neat to work with him because he is so visually uh, minded when it comes to the shots. And he's still very uh, story based too, but he, has a, he knows exactly how he wants it to look. On one half, it's a survivor movie. So we wanted to make it kind of gritty. So a lot of the survivors are a lot more gritty. We used a bleach bypass for the survivor portions, but we also shot a lot more gritty. So it's a lot more harder light, some handhelds in there. And we also had a lot of beauty shots for the regular scenes. Being in Missouri, we weren't able to take a lot of the crew that I normally work with when we come back to LA, we shot several of the scenes here for Missouri. So like all of Karen's house was actually in Los Angeles. Uh, the Margaret home was in Los Angeles and Nebom's office was also in Los Angeles. This film deals with a lot of social issues. Um, it deals with homophobia, it deals with racism, it deals with human trafficking. It doesn't really have any solutions, but it's more of um, opening up the conversation.